The United States of America has blocked the sale of COVID-19 test kits to Jamaica. By the respective, by the, by the country. The U.S., the U.S., of course. You've, you've, heard, the, you've heard the rule, the laws. You've heard the laws. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Minister of Health and Wellness, Dr. Christopher Tufton, told the House of Representatives last night that a block on the sale of U.S. COVID-19 testing equipment to the Jamaican government has set back the level of testing for cases in Jamaica. Dr. Tufton was answering questions from leader of the opposition business in the House of Representatives, Dr. Maurice Guy. Dr. Guy was pushing his argument that increased testing was necessary to inform intervention when responding to the COVID-19 crisis. This was after congratulating Dr. Tufton for his work in increasing the public health sector capacity to handle the pandemic. Guy said that despite a capacity to do 1,250 tests per week, 1,360 tests between March 10 and the 14th of April. We had, we had, um, we had some delays, I'll admit, because we had some supplies coming out of a particular country and those supplies were blocked for the particular country and by the respective by the by the country the u.s the u.s of course you've, you've heard the, you've heard the root the laws you've heard the laws um, by the, the the position thing so so we um no i'm not afraid but i'm just saying um, they, act, they have acted in their interests. We have to act in our interests. So, in the meantime, that much, that much. In, the, in the meantime, in the meantime, Mr. Mr. Speaker, we have had to recalibrate our strategy in order to get from other sources, and that has led to that led to some delays. But we're getting ahead, and, and by the weekend, into early next week. Tufton said that by the end of this week, the public health sector should have close to 20,000 more testing kits, in addition to the mobile testing vehicles which became operational since last week. What we have here is the mobile units for expansion of sample collection for testing for COVID-19 and equipped with the mask, the personal protective equipment, the sample collection, uh, the swabs, biohazard bags, it's the like content, right? And uh, essentially, the units are ready to be deployed in the field in order to ensure that we collect samples and expand our testing capacity throughout the country. I'm happy to report that we're now ready, and the first vehicle is already deployed, and we're going to that location now. So that it can do more work in different communities. So I'm happy to know that it's here and that it's working. I think the community in Jamaica is happy for your presence, your leadership and your work. The Ministry of Health also recently received a shipment worth over a billion dollars of equipment to aid the COVID-19 fight. We're in the warehouse of the National Health Fund. We have just toured to look at some of the supplies that have coming recently. N95 masks, um, ICU beds, ventilators, stretchers, um, temperature monitors, all of valuing near a billion Jamaican dollars to support the COVID response in terms of treatment. We are in a much better position today than we were a month ago because we have been able to source these items. The government of Jamaica with the Honorable Prime Minister leading the charge has been very supportive. So we continue to encourage Jamaicans to manage the personal hygiene, the social distancing, the restrictions that have been put in place because prevention is still key. But at the same time, I want to say to all Jamaicans, we are prepared to treat those persons. And all of this combined means that as a country, the government is responding to the, to the health care, the public health risk. New isolation wards were also brought into commission at the Cornwall Regional Hospital. The April 9th, Holy Thursday, I spent the day in Montego Bay, St. James. Also toured the Cornwall Regional Hospital. They have constructed a brand new facility to deal with very ill patients, which would allow single bedrooms, bathroom, 
isolation area, uh, monitoring screens and cameras, as well as other parts of the hospital, the accident and emergency ward, which was just built, which is now converted to a full uh, COVID ward. All told, they have 20 beds that are in place and available to deal with COVID patients. Other parishes in the region suggest that we are prepared to deal with potential cases. I want to just commend the management, the staff, the healthcare workers for all that they are doing as we continue to prepare and ensure that the West can deal with the COVID issues here in, in these four parishes. Teach them! Hey, yo, yellow! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying, until next time, walk good, my friends.